Yeah. How does my model face look now? Wait. Yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Hit a corner. Oh. Mwah. You look nice. What's the occasion? Just you know, meeting you. Just to see me. This way, a little bit. I like to get a Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. And uh, I will get a dirty gin martini, please, with as many olives as you can stuff in that tiny triangle. <laughs> Perfect. Thank nice you. You're welcome. You dirty, dirty little olive. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my new nickname? That's disturbing. I know you really want me to give you a nickname, but no. Uh, no. Still dirty now. little olive. That's... Dirty little olive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, Ooh, hot is that? What's, what's, this what's that? There's a little extra nice and nice cold thing for you. There's more. Where's mine? <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, uh, what, what do you recommend for us to eat? If you haven't been here before, the artichoke dip is by far one of our house staples. Oh. Can we do some meat? Yeah, definitely. I need some protein. Yeah. We're well. a big fan of poultry. Is duck a poultry? Sorry, I'm asking dumb Yeah, <laughs> In Hungarian, I totally know the answer, but I can't translate that into English, so I can't help you. <laughs> duck is what we eat on like, Christmas Day. Perfect, but you should definitely get the duck then. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's our food. Yes. Yay. Oh my god. Ooh. Thank you Thank so you. much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Do you like working with me? Do you like it or is it annoying? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I actually love working with you because Yes, go on. You make me feel very like comfortable in a way that sometimes I have trouble with communicating on set or just like expressing myself and you're so easy with everyone and you're you're just so comfortable around people that really helps me to actually do the best job I can. Because of this I do like to work with you. But there are, like, sometimes I would want to be more serious and you would not shut up. That's a little bit annoying, to yeah. be honest with you. Isn't that what attracted you to me to be no, that's not, not shutting it. up part? That's not it. So would you ever shoot a film with me? Yeah, but it'd have to be good. You mean I have to, I would have to be good? Or you, the movie no, the, the concept would have to be good. What does that mean? Because I feel like What's a lot of people would want to take advantage of, like, our thing, and I don't want people to make it or just like use it for. So what's like a good idea? Something where we actually have fun shooting characters that we're not. Because mm. I don't really like to try and do stuff that seems too close to home. You know. So I would be and emotional. Sassy. Yeah, emotional. Formal. Yeah, I don't. I feel like that's broken English. Broken English. Yeah, yeah, that would be kind of sick. You just did your first like cat video casting. We're what? modeling now in Paris. Oh yeah, I guess I did. How, how different that is from like acting and stuff. How does my model face look now? Wait. No. No. Is no. Is that how you? <laughs> yeah. Is that how I look? You have to say you have to hear the noise. No. Suck in the cheeks. Put the tongue to the roof of your mouth. You can do it. Yeah. See, that's crazy. That's crazy. What do you mean? Wait. Do I do it? <laughs> do I do it? Here's my normal chin. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Here's my normal chin, and here's my model chin. Yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it. That's that's lovely. I'm gonna kill it at the Oscars party, dude. But I turned. Uh, I had to turn over my shoulder a lot and like do this thing. You, what like, do you mean? Let's smile a little bit. This side. Yeah. You mean smirk? Smirk, yeah, smirk. It's all. It always happens like. No, but you gotta do the smirk at the same time because you gotta do it when you look up. Look so up. you're just like. If you had told me that I needed to do it. <laughs> Did you ever ask me for advice? I didn't then I because I didn't. Like we were kind of like the same in this scenario that 
We are almost like scared to ask for advices because we always just want to do it our own way. That's true. <clears throat> I think for me, the advice thing that the reason why it's hard for me to accept it is if I ask for advice and I feel like I somehow fix the issue I was looking to solve, um, that it wasn't hard one enough. Mm. Like there's a weird form of didn't masochism. Learn. Yeah. You didn't learn that. You've helped me with that. But Feeling vulnerable. Feeling vulnerable. Like Cole and I, we, we grew up as twins, we would just, we would learn through conflict mm. a lot. And until we became older, we stopped doing that so much and we started appreciating each other's understanding of things, the differences in it. And I think that's why we were a hard one at learning how to ask advice because- From any other person. From any other person, because we thought that if you did that, it kind of cheapened the experience to a degree. And you had to win things hard. That makes you sense. Like, yeah. That makes sense, but my, I think my drive is not that. I think it's more, I want to be the one who achieves it. Yeah. Like, I want to be the one who does it. I've tried to be better about taking advice from people that I respect. And knowing that that's so actually, you don't so you don't like to take the advices you get on social media. I mean, to like people I take advice from the most are like people who message me that they either hate me or they have two followers. That's like those are the people I love. I don't understand why people feel the right that they can just. I mean, it, I think it's one thing to give an opinion. Yeah. But there is another, the other thing is when you're actually being disrespectful and you're yeah. just being negative and you're actually hurting not only me, but my surroundings. Yeah. Sometimes when I see someone reflecting that kind of negativity to someone else, it just means I feel like to some degree that they are trying to reflect experiences that they had in their personal life outward. And so sometimes when people just say those things, I try to respond nicely in messages. Okay, you answer example, to direct messages? I do. Not to yours, of course, but to everyone with an anime icon. Why would you? Oh my god. What did I just remind you of? <laughs> oh my god. You remember when you, you talked to a hacker? Oh yeah. Well, like, how do you come <laughs> to hacking someone's Twitter or someone's Instagram? Well, I think he's just a bored guy with time, you know? He wasn't trying the to be malicious. The fact that you were just able to found his message, found his Instagram account, and just try to talk to him, it just seemed so crazy to me. You know, it was like, it was so different in the beginning because when I signed up to social media, I would actually interact so much more with people. So much more people, like so many people would follow me. I would, I would know them by name, and I would talk to them, and mm. I was just appreciated. They're so supportive, and and I still appreciate them because I actually know they're like tagging everything but yeah. lately I just kind of want to like step away from it all because you there's there's never a moment when I when I I would just go online and and it's just be positive I just try to think of like why that person is doing that first and foremost because and then I block them the thing is, it's as easy as that. Yeah. I do want to hear what people think. I do want to hear their, their criticism, and I do want to hear their opinions and ideas, but I only block someone when it's constant negativity. When it's any time I would see that, like, the fact that I could actually remember a tag yeah. that this one I've seen like 10 times the past month yeah. means that there's just so much hate there. What does yeah. that person get Then I think get that's an it? obvious case of someone to block and just yeah. put out of your way. Hi guys, Haram salad. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yummy. Asparagus salad. I've got two more things coming right behind you. Thank you. You're welcome. Asparagus. You order the asparagus? Yeah. Oh, I two ducks for you. Oh, one yeah. to share. Just one to share? Of course, no problem. I'll take two. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to say you're bad at sharing food, but I'm going to say I never maybe, asked if I was bad. <laughs> I'm just asking, did best you not want to share your food? Remember how on our first date, the first night, your burrito. And you bit into, in a single bite, you ate a third of my burrito. 
feel like remember this story totally differently. And then you. I took a. Then you asked me to kiss you. That was our first kiss. After you horked down one third of my burrito. So you're supposed of course, to be obviously. a gentleman. You. A gentleman never shares his burrito. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was written in the old law. No, you were supposed to like <laughs> make me fall for you, right? It was our first date in China, and yeah, and the I first kiss. It was that because it was already like what, like 3 a.m. and and. I had to take control, okay? Because you wouldn't kiss me, and we've been talking, texting for like four months. I thought like, you were are you gonna kiss me or what? <laughs> yeah, the Hungarian way. I loved it. Yeah, you know, I was like kind of scared, because you know I was single for like so long before we started dating. Yeah, I do. I remember you told me that. And I was very scared that. I had this like thought in the back, like, oh, but wait, like, are, is it gonna be like, pop, like, are we getting a paparazzi all the time, or should I be worried? Do I have to dress nice from now on? Do mm. I have to like get ready every morning? Yeah, I, I mean, you probably don't get that. I mean, you started at such a like even younger age than I did, but for me, that was actually a. I don't think people are interested in the same way that they're like interested in seeing you. Like for me, they're like, oh. I mean, yeah, they would never want to see you in a dress like this, but uh -huh. never say never. never. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, I'd probably kill it, honestly. You did put on my high heels the last time in Milan. Yeah, I can really strut. We talked about it in the beginning. We were like, as long as people don't come in and try to affect how we act or try to, like, essentially monetize us into characters or someone, right? I don't remember at all. Yeah, we did. Maybe that was weird too. I mean, look, there's. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Excuse me? I did nothing. Uh, my thing is, like, that's just gonna happen. That's the side effect of what's going to happen. Yeah. But it's also easily avoidable too. I, knew I mean, that I guess moving least. to Brooklyn was like. Um, Nobody gives a fuck out in Brooklyn. Yeah. No. Which is rad. That's the way it should be. Well, I guess we learned from from our own like experiences. I like this place a lot because it's a little more private. I feel like we, we do have we do have a little bit of like boundaries here though because we can go to certain places because there would be too many people or no no doubt everyone's looking at me is like how the f did that guy manage to snag someone like you? But I just clam up. I get too like like when you kiss me in public, actually, I'm like <sighs> that's not true. But you are more anxious in. Um, any, any, and you know anxious. what you do when you get anxious? You just start to speak louder and articulate big time. Like, Very articulate. oh well, yeah, let's take a picture <laughs> then. <laughs> I'm like a stereotype of an American guy in an anime. Hey buddy, how are you? Nice. I'd love to use my credit card. <laughs> What is that? Letter inch tart and a chocolate Ooh. brownie. That's mine. Enjoy. Now, at this point in my life, I feel like all the seeds that I planted are kind of growing. Mm. Not yet. Don't fucking scare me at dessert. Was I any help in it? You sure were. You are the virgin. Mwah. How's the brownie? You just became me. <laughs> yeah, I did. We do look alike. Everyone says that. Is that Freudian or something? If you date someone who looks a lot like you, is that narcissistic? A little, a little bit, but it's also more that, I mean, for me, in my understanding, it's that you look into the mirror every day, you see yourself, so you would probably trust in someone the most that, like, a little bit look like you. I definitely know that feeling. <laughs> Although I trust you more than I trust myself. What about your twin brother? <laughs> I don't trust him at all. No, I do trust him. What do you want to do next? What's your next thing? I'm pretty happy for how far I came, I think, the last year, or the fact that I, you know, I mean, you were there the whole process, and I think I was able to do it because of you. About BS, mm. about walking a show, about becoming an angel, yeah. working with Armani, like doing all this stuff, just growing as a person, becoming, like being able to live with someone. <laughs> Is not my sister or my family. 
I know, and I without, imagine that's tough. It's tough to live with you, but it's all worth it at the end, you know. <laughs> well, I'm you're just right. gonna be honest, yeah. okay? We did all right. Should we get the check? Mm. Let's plan our future, baby. Thanks, baby. And should we take the car or should we take the train? It's winter. I'll walk behind you. You take the train, I'll take the Uber. <laughs> <laughs>